The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good. And thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really, the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I didn't get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Express your own divinity. Always do your best. You don't need to accept it. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express yourself and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. My guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down at 430. We have the NASDAQ off 299. S&Ps are down 71. Gold contract up a buck 60, trading out at 1909 an ounce. We have silver up 21 cents, $24.52 20, $24. an ounce. Light sweet crude down 16 cents, $91.75 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down four ticks, trading 126.10. The 30 year off 10 ticks at 152.21 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 159 ticks, trading 96.183. Euro 113, yen 114.94, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's let's we'll take a look at the spy first. It's making its way to the high volume low here. The Qs have taken out the high volume low, and you can have lighter volume, so you don't have an ABC structure down. That being said, these the spy is going after it. That's 420.76. You're at 422.40. I I don't think you're going to get it today, but more than likely, what you're going to see here is that. Uh, <laughs> which is not great. Uh, the bottom line is you get down there. If we close at the lows of the day, you'll jump the creek, man. And on the spy jumping the creek, it looks to me like the way this thing is set up right now. 427, you broke that. 479, man, that's 60 bucks. Okay. If I take, that gives you 350, man. Where's 350? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you want to be careful in this market, folks. Okay, so looking at the SPY right now, right, the way this is set up is that this market looks to me like the SPY is going to go down to 350 at 422. Where I'm getting that, folks, this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm getting this, okay? You take that, when you, when you do something like this, meaning, you know, we, we go higher, go higher with a lot lighter volume, right? We know we have highs with lighter volume, and we know we have volume off the high. So volume off the high, number one, all not always, nothing's always in the marketplace, but probability-wise, very high probabilities when you have volume off the highs, you have a much larger correction than normal. So we broke the consolidation. So the way this works is that you can take the bottom of the consolidation. Well, here, let's 427. Let me get this right. 427.23. So 427.23 is the bottom. Your high, I'll just take 472. Just to, it's, so they get five, 45 bucks. And then you take 45, okay, so that's, no, that's still 380. Well, let's get it correctly. 427, you get two, you got seven, 372. Let's see what 372 is. 372, 358, yeah. There's not, there's not much at 372. I, you know what? Get prepared, man. This thing, this thing, this is going to be pretty intense, man. This thing wants to come back to this, the beginning of the whole run, man. 
Whoa, baby. This would be back to August of 2020. Let's go to the NDX 100 and take a look. And you know how this works, folks, okay? The bottom line is that what you get is that the, you know, you take an escalator up and the elevator down in the marketplace. That's how it goes. So if we take a look at the Qs, <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of money lost here, man. If we take a look at the Qs, okay, so what is that consolidation? So the Qs, the next stop in the Qs is a four, 297. You get 324, you'd get something going. I suspect 297 is game and 303, yeah. Now, what's going to get interesting here is this. The, when you take a look at the Qs versus the Spy, it looks like the Qs could very well get a lot more support at the 300, which back is September of 2020, versus the Spy, which is May of 2020. Either way, man. That's going to be a hit and a half. Well, let's see what kind of a hit this is. One second. So if we go right there, let me just see what this is. Kind of, this is like a retracement and a half, man. There you go. Let's do that. Oh, man, look at that. Well, you know what? This is a, it, that's, that's a normal retracement, man. Uh, when you take the lows of March to where we were, a 50% retracement is 287. That's, you know... I know that sounds insane that that can be a normal retracement, but guess what? That can be a normal retracement in the marketplace. That's, that's the reality. Gold. We take a look at the gold market here. Now, gold's in a confirmed ABC structure up. The, it's 101 A to B equals C to D. Um, we'll see. You know, it's, it's hanging tough. There's no doubt about that. That price projection is 1946, and right now you're at 1909. We go over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What we have with the dollar right now. Uh, that's trading up 159.96.18, and then we go into the bond market. We take a look at bonds, and bonds are down five ticks. I mean, when you when you have it, <laughs> the bonds are going to continue lower with higher yield. Okay, when you have a market, folks, that is down over two and a half percent every day, and bonds can't catch a bid. We're down 2.3. That that's telling you how weak bonds are. So the bottom line is that. Um, bonds want to go a lot lower. Some of the other higher volume equities we have in this market out here today, which is, by the way, is not going to be a high volume market. It doesn't look it. You got uh, Facebook to off uh, three and a half dollars. You got American Airlines down seventy five cents. Carnival's off a buck twenty. Uh, Tesla's down fifty five bucks. Uh, Kodak Sciences. This was a gaff anyway. It's down forty dollars. If you remember this, this was this is the old Kodak. Okay. Bottom line, they. <laughs> They got all the way up to $137. It's trading 10 bucks right now at this thing. And you know what? So what you have to get out of all of this, folks, is that, yeah, if we can go back five months, three months, whatever, every single day would never go down, right? Bottom line, you get pieces of paper that weren't worth the writing that's on them. And what you're seeing now is the price destruction because of that fact. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. 
Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 383. You get the NASDAQ off 284. Uh, S&Ps are off 66. And if we go uh, inside the Dow Industrials and we take a look at the uh, strength versus the weakness out here today, folks, what you have is that uh, weakness, Home Depot minus uh, 47 points putting into a Microsoft 39, Big Mac 34, Visa 30. Um, Point-wise, positive Chevron, Chevron plus 19 points. And that's it inside the Dow Industrials. And inside the NDX 100, you have uh, Cadence Design. Uh, that's putting, uh, that's it's up 4.6%. 4 4 Mercado Libre's up 4.3. Splunk's up 1.2. Taken away from it. Airbnb's off 8.5. You got Moderna off 6.5. Tesla's off 6. Let's go to Dave in Boston. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, how are you today, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, we're having Florida weather up here. It's almost uh, 70 degrees here today, Tom. So so that is insane, folks, for February. The, this is this would be the week, right, when we're kids, Dave, that you'd always want it to snow so you could be sledding all week, man, because all the kids are off yeah. this week. And you know what, Tom? You know, we're going to get almost a foot of snow on Friday. You are? That'll, that'll, <laughs> I that, love that'll it. That'll tell you the New England weather, as you know, being from, from up here. Oh, so. that's awesome, man. Well, you know, it's cool. Hey, that's that's all right. Enjoy the heck out of it, man. Oh, that is hilarious. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, I, I just uh, wanted you to take a look. I've, I've traded in and out of LNG quite a few times. Okay. And I just wanted to see, uh, you know, I've taken some bread off the table, but I just want to see what you, what your take on this was. Let's take a look. You got uh, the symbols LNG at Chenier Energy. The low is 65. The high is 121. Uh, they focus on the natural, liquefied natural gas business, folks, You're meaning that they have terminals and they have liquid natural gas pipelines um, that operate in Louisiana and Texas. And let's just go, we'll, for, what we're going to first do is go to the natural gas contract because, you know, what we've had out here is that, you know, gas came off the lows and, you know, it's been consolidating out here for a while. So this is interesting, man, okay? I mean, because the natural gas contract is not like that's to the moon, but yet... Yeah. When you do look at uh, Chenier, it is to the moon. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's see what we got. You have, it's been a rocket ship one way, that's for sure. But that being said, yeah, you got another ABC up, man. Hold on one second, let's see. So if we do it this way, you got 118. Yeah, it's, it's 18 bucks. Um, 2831. Well, it's saying that the next step, man, it's really 131. That's how it's set okay. up. 
You know, okay. what happens with this, Dave, right, is this. Like the dailies, you know, I have the setup here. See, it doesn't look bad, right? And it is a yep. small ABC up to 131. You just want to be careful because when you put this on a weekly or a monthly, you know, it yep. really, the, well, you know it because you've been trading it. The expansion <laughs> is, like, pretty intense. You know, yeah. we've gone straight yeah. up from $27. Where would you, where would you throw a stop? Excuse me? Where would you throw a stop in on this one? Okay, good. Let's do this here. So if we go like this, when you have something that's an extension that's so dramatic, folks, okay? Um, okay, so you, what, what happens with stops? This is what I do. First, I look for particularly, okay, that's good right there. See, I look down the bottom first to see where the biggest volumes are. And this yep. one right here, this is a good one. So right there. The high of that bar is 113.86. And, okay. you know, I'd put it somewhere under there, you know, okay. because it, that's going to be harder to dig into. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. and yep. then if it makes yep. the leg up, then you would go to this bar from yesterday, because that's a nice bar from yesterday, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Well, appreciate it, Tommy. 73, man. I love it. Well, you better, better get down to the L Street bathhouse, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got my shorts on today. That's uh, I, I don't love think it. I've worn shorts in February for 15 years. Isn't know, that so. wild, man? Holy cow! <laughs> yeah. That is something else. Man, yeah. thanks so much. Yeah. You have a great one, a safe one, Dave. P appreciate it. Okay, man. You gotta, that 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 is something else, man. Holy cow! Okay, so so the real question is here: like, where the heck are we going, man? <laughs> that. And so th this is what also, okay, so you can see the trends down a little, but the, the trends, so when you look at this trend, folks, okay, this is what I want you to understand, and this is where we're not even close to a bottom. You see these numbers, okay, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see, what I do is I use a five-day trend. So you got to add up the five days to see what the average is. Well, on a five-day trend, you know, we're at a .90 today. Yesterday was a 1 1.6, 1 1.10, 1 1.21, 1 1.42. Now, the 1.42 is kind of getting there, okay, that, you know, the bottom line is that most times if you get a, a low going, what you're going to get is that you're going to have a, basically an 8 to eight, eight to 9 five-day trend, okay? What this is saying is that people are still buying, man. That's what this is saying, and, and it's spread out evenly. When you get a bottom, what ends up happening is that it's not spread out evenly, number one. And they only buy a certain amount of stocks. That, that's, that's how this thing shakes out, okay? So we're not, we're not there, man. <laughs> you know, the tick, I suspect what you have with the tick, you know, the, the tick's been good, meaning, you know, you have fast selling. But that fast selling, that's you and I and everyone else that's in the marketplace, uh, bottom line, you know, trading both sides of the market. And, yeah, the, the ticks are good. But you need the trend going. If, in fact, what you're going to have um, is starting to make a bottom. Let me, uh, you know, lows come out with their numbers. They were good numbers. But if you understand the ABC structures, okay, this is pretty cool. Now, we went short lows on the open today. And now, I'll show you why, okay? This, this is like, a, this is like, you don't get this chance a lot, folks. And what it was is this. We know that Home Depot, so first off, Home Depot come out with their numbers. Bottom line, Home Depot is a massive ABC structure down, okay? Lowe's come out with their numbers today. The market liked the numbers. Lowe's is opening up $8. I was saying, thank you, God, okay? Bottom line, why? Because Lowe's also is an ABC structure down, and I suspected my, my speculation was going to turn into a complex one. So all that means is that yesterday Lowe's took out its swing point, took it out with volume. The price projection is approximately $200, Okay. Bottom line, it opens at 227, goes to, you go to 222, goes to 227, gives it up. And what a complex ABC structure is, is this. And this one down, what it means is you go down, you get above the B point again. The B point in the air is 220. In this case, it happened in one day, meaning that it gave it up on one day, which is, you know, I wasn't expecting it to give it up in one day. I expect we go sideways and then we'll break it again. This is going to be a monster ABC down. That's the real bill bottom line. You know, so these ABC structures, if you don't understand them, you know, just go to Amazon and get 
they're out of time in the trade. Uh, it'll probably say that they're out. We're sending a lot of books out. Uh, we can get more books out to them, but it's it's worth it. Trust me. <laughs> On a two-way market, folks, you can uh, you'll just understand it more. Let's put it that way. That that's that's how this thing shakes out right now. Dow Industrials right now down 360. You got the Nasdaq off 279. S and P's are off 64. Uh, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at DFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down... Uh, 374, Nasdaq's off 275, S&P's are off 64. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how are you? I'm you doing... got the weather report. Things are good. I was on the beach with the grandkids this morning. You had to love that, man. I know. Yeah. I was just talking to yes, Dave. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. It's 70 degrees yeah, up there? Wow. That's fun. Yeah, well, they got to change the oil in the snowblower this afternoon, though. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, Technical question for you before yes. we get into a stock. Uh, you know, you got me looking around for high volume swing highs and high volume swing lows. Right. And on a daily chart, uh, I have a lot of charts that I'm looking at that we're off by one day with the high volume spike. 
Uh, but on a weekly chart, it sure looks like a high volume swing high or swing low. Okay. What would you say to something like that? That's that that is a this is what that is a high volume. This is what ends up happening is. is that if if let, let's say that you're either either taking out a swing, folks, uh, whether high or low, and the first time or the first day it just doesn't seem to do, and the second day it does, you got to pay attention to it. Because that's okay. that's the most conservative way of looking at it, and that's what we all should be doing when we're doing this. Do you know what I mean? It's like okay, yes. you know, yes. So that's that's how it works out. You know, um, when we look at this DBA, you know, you're trading this DBA. Yes, I'm yeah. in it. So this one here, I mean, this is interesting too. Because look, look at this. It already hit 2146 today. It was a, it's a small confirmed ABC up to 2143. Now you already got right. that one, but now let me look at you know because let me look at the the weekly. So th what happens with this equity, folks? So well, first off, let me tell you what this equity is. Okay, this is an equity that has uh, it's a commodity equity. It's the agricultural index. Okay, uh, the holdings inside it, you know, you got you have it all. You have corn, coffee, cattle, cocoa, sugar, hogs, wheat. Um, you know, so that's what you, that's what you're basically trading. Um, they, those have been all on fire. Now, this this is a cool thing to trade. It just moves slower. That's you know that that these moves yeah. when you take a look at them, they move slower. And oh, this is really good looking. Hold on one second. We take that. No, this is tricky. I see. Yeah, see, I, I get this on a monthly now. And on a monthly, folks, this has almost been a one way route on the, you know on the way up. But you know what you have here, Frank? Okay, I'd stay right there, man, because. See that? I just brought this back on a monthly to June of tw wow, June of 2016. Yeah, man, that's where it wants to go. 23 bucks. Really? Yeah, okay. because what's happening here, now this is going to be really wild, man, because if you get to that $23, um, and it looks like you will. Once, yeah, now, I'm hoping looking at the long-term volumes here popping, popping up like popcorn. Yeah, no, I exactly. Can this longer term. What, which would make sense inside the commodity business. I see what you're looking at. Now you're looking at 35. That's even better. I got it. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. And what he's doing. This is, and folks, this is what you should be doing. When you get something like this. Okay, so you broke. Yeah, that's game, man. On a long term basis. So what happens is this. You have a monster downtrend. I mean, we know these downtrends because we're in the commodity business. Okay. This one here, you know, went straight down. Well, the high was generated in 2008. Next high was generated in 2011. And once they start going, man, you know, we know commodities can move, man. Yeah, yeah. This is a this is a nice trade, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. S slower mover, but uh, bottom line is that, hey, everything's getting expensive. It's actually hard to understand, you know. And I've seen it before, folks, okay? And I remember, you know, basically going in the grocery store, like, are you going to be kidding me, man? I'm sure you remember too, Frank, right? That oh, yeah. It, when, when, yeah. When this really hit the last time, folks, I'm not exaggerating. Every single day, right before Volca basically came in and it crushed inflation, you could go to the supermarket and bread and milk would be up every day because I used to even go to stuff my mother almost every day. Um, and it was, you know, like then it was only 15 or 20 cents, but 15 or 20 cents was a lot of money then. <laughs> and yeah, so it's, it's wild how it goes. But yeah, there's, there's, these, these prices are going up. And with foodstuffs, commodities going up, food going up, um, you know, we all have to eat. So. It looks to yeah. me like that's yeah. going to be there for a while. Okay. There's a good one. DBA. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go take yep. a look at Moderna because Moderna is also, I believe, uh, that they're coming out with their numbers today. Let me see this. M-R-N-A. Okay. So 24th. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. They're coming out tomorrow before the market opens. Okay, so Moderna had a low for the year of $117, a high of $497. They take in, last year they took in $803 million. This year they're taking in $18 billion. <laughs> so 
slight, you know, slight upcharge, right? Okay, so pull this back. Well, when you, this is what's going on. Okay, you got this is this is amazing actually. The, the amount of destruction in some of these equities. This one here, you're you're at support. That being said, you got let's see. Bought here. Yeah, I'm going to bring this closer. Let me bring this closer. This looks like it wants to go lower to me. Okay, so I bring it closer. What is it? So 44 million 52. Okay, so let me show you something. Last week, what happened, folks, is this. We came down to 44 million. You were coming into 52 for an ABC down. So you went lower than the B point, which is 138. This is what I do when I see something like this, right? I say, okay, well, where are you first? If, I, if you take the crosshairs, you're still in the middle of a staircase. So that tells me that, okay, man, it just missed the volume for an ABC down. Then I want to calculate the ABC down just to see where that is. So the ABC down would be 321, oh, man, that's sick, to 138. Okay, that, that's not, well, I, it's possible that, that that's going to happen. But to cut to the chase, because the trader wants to know what's happening tomorrow morning, I would say this is going lower, and it's going to go back to its breakout area. Its breakout area is 90 bucks. That's how this is trading, you know. And, you know, the, the bottom line is that, um, let's look at this number again. You know, right now, you know, the bottom line, they, uh, they're making money. They're going to make a lot of money this year, $27. They say $27 next year, $10 a year afterwards. Um, you know, they have a huge amount in the pipeline. The real question is, is that what is going to be the next breakthrough? I mean, that, this type of technology, folks, okay, is the name of the game. Okay, but there's it, the real question is going to be what can they do with cells after the virus? You know, are they, can they attack diabetes? Can they attack cancer? Can they attack all these different deals? Um, but right now, that stock looks like to me it's going to go lower. Dow Industrials right now uh, are down 402, Nasdaq's off 286, SP's off 69. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow is down to 439 to get the Nasdaq off 306. S&Ps are off uh, 74, folks. No one wants to buy stocks. When stocks don't catch a bid, and just so you understand something, when you talk liquidity, okay, that's what liquidity is all about. Liquidity is all about that you can hit a button, get rid of something. When there's no bids, guess what? See you later. Let's go to Mike in Almond Beach. Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Hey, first of all, I want to thank you for everything you do for us. You, you give us all such a great education. And I tell anybody that wants to learn about the markets to tune into TFNN because you guys got technicians all day long. Well, I appreciate Tom, it. You've been out here a long time, man. I love it. Growling and prowling with you, man. Yeah. And uh, uh, one of the good things that happened to me is I got, I've always worked a full-time job and, and, you know, I could never trade the way I wanted to. And I got laid off from the COVID, and uh, I got a part-time business, and I do my trading, and it's like, you know what? There's a whole world out there instead of being cooped up in a factory for 12-hour days. Yeah, no, I so, remember when you were starting that. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That's so cool, yeah, man. Do, yeah, do the auto racing fabrications it, it, and uh, Exactly. No, stuff. I remember. Hey, we get Formula One right out my window this weekend, man. Yeah, that's the IndyCar. That's the IndyCar IndyCar, car, IndyCar. Yeah, IndyCar. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So much fun, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Tom, what I'm doing is I'm putting a shopping list together okay. of, you know, a, a, a bunch of stocks. And I was wondering if you could give me some of your ideas where there would be really good support for like Walmart. And, you know, I'm, I'm making a list of all. Walmart's know, a in great stocks. shape, man. Let's take a look at it. See, th this is what you want to be doing, folks, too. The, you know, the low for Walmart for the year is 126. The high is one, 152. You know, you're dealing with, uh, you know. Uh, a, a largest retailer in the world. You deal him with a company that takes in uh, $591 billion a year. And so you can see what you've, you've had here. You, you're down off a high of 152, you're at 135. Walmart had basically a, de a sign of strength when it came out with his numbers. It's backing down with light volume. Let's bring this into a. Yeah, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the March lows as maybe a, the first stopping area. Yeah, March 5th, I see that, of uh, 2021, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yes. No, that's, that's the number. If you, if you, that's the number. That's a high-volume swing. It is. Right. Yep. And what happens well, there, so where he's looking, folks, is really cool. So watch this. What, it's not only that, then what you have protecting you, oh, this is cool. So see, what you have is this. The high-volume low from March of 2020 of the COVID deal the high of that is 128. The low right. of the high volume low of March a year later is 126. That's a, that's that's a, that's yeah, that's where you want to be, right there. Yeah, that's one of the great things I learned from you, Tom, is is picking out, look on the chart and look for the highest volume spike. I know. And that that works so good, so many times. Yeah, it's what's cool, isn't it? Cool for the clarity, though. Also, I mean, what happens, folks, is that you know. Everything is, uh, it's not black and white, my system, there's no doubt. But what does happen is that the, these high volume lows and highs, man, you know, particularly, let's say something coming down like this, just go to the high volume lows, it's going to blow your mind that, you know, that's where they're going to go, man. And 
if you own them and that high volume low is like 20 or 30 points lower, you better do something about it <laughs> because it's, right. a, yeah, it's, it's crazy, but that's what they like to do, man. I know. Crazy. So I'm glad you're doing so well, man. That's got to be feel good, huh? Yeah. You know, like I said, Tom, I, you know, I, I worked full time ever since I was in my early teens and everything. And yes. You know, it's it's nice to be able to just enjoy life a little bit. You know, like I said, I got my little business, yeah. part time business, and yeah, you get creative. So, you know, keep people happy, yeah. man. That's awesome, man. That's and hopefully, hopefully, if I can uh, make enough trading, I'm I want to return back into auto racing. I was a race car driver, and where yeah, I got okay. I've been out of uh, for. Well, I, I think I showed you that when you looked up my website. The yeah, time. you did. I did. I did. I did. That's right. Yeah, but uh, that's how I got my metalworking skills to do the metal art because I was a race car driver and builder, and I used to build all my own chassis. Wow. So. That is really cool, man. You gotta love it. Yep. So anyway, I'm I'm over uh, a little over sixty right now, and I just wanna I don't want to be a couch potato, and that's one of the passions I had in life. So. Well, you, you know it's so funny. So pitch this. I, I mean, I've always had fast cars basically but you know uh retail cars right you know what i'm saying and i was thinking for my grandson right like right now i got a cls 63 that you know it, it's it's beautiful i mean it, it flies right um but i was thinking i should buy one for my grandson right and put it away because you know, imagine like in 50 years from now like you're not oh, gonna yeah. have something <laughs> like that you know what i mean that would surely appreciate yeah, it would seem it, man, you know? So it's it's intriguing. I, so it's still at the front of my mind, trust me, because it's like, I remember the, you know, that's all you had to do. I mean, we're 60 babies. I, I'm a, you know, 50 baby. But the reality is, is that, you know, those 60 cars were so cool, man. You know, put a few of those away. All those 60 cars, by the way, folks, okay, whether it's a GTO, the 442, they were only, well, not only, 3,400 bucks is a lot of money then. That's the bottom line, but. You know, yeah. those cars now are worth some big money, man, you know, and it blows my mind how fast time goes, man. That's for sure. So, oh, yeah. Well, listen, thanks, uh, okay, thanks man. for everything you do. And, uh, you know, all the TFNN technicians, everybody contributes, you know, they great, do. You and know, it's great it's, methods. Each one has their own different way of doing it. And I've combined an, a number of every certain points that I figure are the most important with each technician. And. I kind of got my own little system here, Isn't that so. cool? So here, let's talk about that, because this is what's cool, folks. Okay, so picture this. What Mike's talking about, that's what all technical analysis is. No, no one, you know, and that's what life is, okay? You have a little something here, a little something there, a little something there. And when you put this together, folks, what you want to be doing is you're putting this together for what feels good, not just feels good, that you understand and you're confident in. And that, that's, that's how all of us even got to that point. That, that's the reality, you know? So it's really cool what you're doing because that is the name of the game. Because if I've found out anything, that's when your ability goes up much more, your skill set goes up much more, and that you will just cut that trade in a second because you know that, I mean, it will hurt for a day or two but the reality is, is that you know that, like I said, with those high volume lows, man, if that goes down mm -hmm. there, man, that's toast. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, man, I'm not taking another 20 points, you know, in general. Cooking, brother. Right. The first, yeah. The first thing I learned off of you were the ABCs and the volume and, yeah. and you know, then, you know, the high volume lows and Basil with the stochastics and the moving averages and yep. his wave count and Steve with his RMI. And exactly. It's great. And Basil's nine... Uh, Displaced moving average, uh, that that thing is beautiful, man. That that nine period moving average, folks. Okay, get get your turns really cool, man. There's no doubt about and it. And Dave, yeah, Dave White uses that too. So. Yes, right. And Dave's the uh, that that energy he has going up and down is really cool. I know, pretty cool, man. Well, listen, we appreciate the feedback. You have a great one, a safe one. Thank you, Tom. Bye. Thank you. Market wise, this thing can't hold price, folks. Uh, bottom line, we're going lower. Let's go see. This is pretty scary because it's Wednesday right now. Um, yeah, you're going after it. So you're down eight bucks. The high volume low in the spies, 420.76. You're not going to make it. Now, this is sad. We're not going to make it because we're not making it. That's when we know what it is. What's the next one, folks? You jump the creek. Stay right there. We'll come right back. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. If you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to uh, Jamie in South of New Jersey. Hey, Jamie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing great. Doing great. Long-time listener. Been listening to you for about 20 years. Unreal. Uh, I think going back to the days of WIP in uh, Philadelphia and AM Station, I believe it's yes. when I first came across you. Well, thank you so much. So, we appreciate it, man. How did, about a fast 20 a, years, huh? <laughs> very fast. I'm telling you, man. Uh, this time thing is something else. So, you want to look at the NQs? It, it is. Yes, well, uh, yes, yeah, so the Nasdaq. So I have a question, and I don't want to sound like a super bear. Yep. But if you go back, and I, I don't have my charts in front of me, but if you go back to about 2016, 17. Okay. Uh, the Nasdaq has a gap of about 35 points that it's never traded after it broke out to an all time high, um, just below the 6,000 mark, if my memory serves me right. And I heard you talking. Uh, last week or the week before about the gaps like to get filled yep. and i know the nasdaq's gone ballistic what do you think the likelihood of of that gap being filled is at some point in the future so here to tell me again what 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 was the number on it around six it's around uh, it, i think it's just below uh six thousand going back into 2016 or 17 as yeah, it was no, marching like the, up uh, six to thousand. the uh, so 2018 that, highs yeah you know right now i'm comfortable right now which is sad actually but i'm comfortable that this nasdaq you know wants to get out of you know twelve thousand 
the 10,800. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what I just brought this up and what's going on, uh, Jimmy, when I brought it, I, I have a monthly. So, I mean, I'll pull this back later and, and see if I can find that gap you're talking about. But it looks to me like the next leg is going there. But, you know, listen, you know, when you have a straight line move up like that, yeah, you can come back pretty dramatically, man, which which we already have. But this this yeah. to me is this is not over, man. <laughs> it doesn't look to me like it's over, you know. Cook yeah, brother. I agree. I, I agree with you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out the boot can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Great show. Meow! We'll get